hello guys welcome back to the channel sonia's adventure happy saturday to you all it's already the weekend i've been promising to drop this video since monday but here i am today guys quick and fast we're just going to drop it and just run listen um if it's your first time coming across this channel and you have not yet subscribed go ahead and subscribe what are you waiting on and for my returning subscribers thank you so much mwah, 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 for always being here i appreciate all of you guys have you heard about bling pasta lamar whitehead born and raised in brooklyn about 45 46 years old operates a church called um leaders of tomorrow international ministries very very big personality very flamboyant um fancy cars like Rolls royce always decked out in gucci a lot of jewelry he is well well known guys he has been sentenced to nine years in prison and uh, one of the crimes is the fraud in a Jamaican woman of $90,000 that she gave to him to make a purchase to help her to get a house. Because he's in real estate and the woman's son, her name is Pauline Anderson. Her son got a house because he's uh through him because he's a member of his church this man has taken this money uh, uh, this woman's part of her retirement savings and has lavished the money on himself and when she asks for it it has ended up in court because he has not decided to pay her back her money guys I don't know who would trust a person to give them your hard earned money when this person has a criminal background and it in it it um it entails identity theft. This man spent five years in prison for stealing people's identity purchasing using the money to purchase cars motorcycles and lavish some of that money on himself and you know that somebody have that kind of history and you take up your money and give them so because her son got a house through him she thought that she could trust she could trust him well, I don't care if my son get a house through you or how much my son is wrapped up in your ministry. My heart hurt money and you have a record like that. You're not getting it. And this man has, as a matter of fact, it is said that when they tried to get back this money from him and they took him to court, he filed a lawsuit against them as well so in addition to losing that ninety thousand dollars they have to be paying lawyer fee and all the other costs that comes with filing a lawsuit to try and retrieve this money from this man well he's locked up now and has been locked up maybe a month or two early and guess why he was out on bail and started running his mouth. I hope I can put a clip up here. I might be able to put a clip up here. Went on a podcast and started running his mouth. Talking about that woman's money. Um, Pauline Anderson's money. Started talking about all the other persons. Because it's a number of charges. Um, FBI agent. The court system. He, he laid out the whole thing. In, a, in another person's podcast. And the, the court said okay. You're out here running your mouth like Christmas list. 
Okay, we're not going to wait until July to sentence you. We're going to revoke your bill and we're going to send you in there. And we're, you're going to stay in there and we're going to tell you how much time we're going to give you. Off the road for your scamming activity. And look who he defrauded, a Jamaican woman, a nurse. They said she's a nurse. And she's been living in the USA here for a number of years. Hmm? Her hard earned money. They were even saying how oh, hard Jamaicans work when they come here. Two and three jobs. And even supporting their families back home. The woman did an operation at the time. She wasn't even working. And it is said that uh, when she gave him the money, he was supposed to hold the money, I think. Maybe for a year and then um, give her a hundred dollars. It's like some kind of investment. But the stories are many surrounding this amount of money. But we know for sure because it has come out. We don't know that it's $90,000 that she gave him. And one story said um, he was supposed to be giving her a hundred dollars per month over a one-year period so she wasn't getting that hundred dollars and there was no effort towards purchasing the house so when she when they saw that nothing was forthcoming they took him to court and he in turn filed a lawsuit against them so they are saying that he showed no remorse he didn't say sorry he didn't say he should have done things otherwise you know, looking back now, he could have done, he could have dealt with her better. He didn't show any remorse. As a matter of fact, he, he even came out to say the money was a donation. $90,000. A hard-working Jamaican woman. <laughs> Just a working, a working person. And you don't have a house for yourself and you would take up $90,000 to give somebody as a donation. This man is a fraudster. He went to university. He studied accounting. Established a, a, a brokerage firm that secures loans for people to buy houses and he even had a girlfriend who was in the same thing and they said initially it was the girlfriend who had passed people's personal information to him social security number the name the age the earnings address and everything and he used that money to purchase i and vehicles and motorcycles that when people started complaining and they investigated and it was a number of loans that he took out and they never said he was selling these vehicles he had them in his possession flaunting them as if they were his own okay um she she he got that people's information from her so sometimes you see these people who they are working certain places and people get scammed it's the people inside the banks inside these corporations who have information to people's in people's uh, uh, um, private information people's personal information and they take it out there and give it to their friends and their families tell people what to do tell people how system work so sometimes you get a call from the bank the number is the bank's number but it's really a fraud that so you can't trust let me tell you something this country is full of scamming full of fraud banking fraud social security fraud utilities fraud mel medical fraud fraud in every sector somebody will call you from the bank and whole couple the other day got a call and they said the number was from the bank and they got defrauded out of 54,000 US dollars we're talking about. And the bank said they couldn't refund the money. And the lady said the call was the call came in from the bank. When anybody call you and telling you that you have to cheat your, your, your number being your credit card 
number been this or your debit card number been that listen to the call don't give them no information and then call the bank and find out what is happening don't give no information to nobody on the phone if you call the social security office the first recording you hear come up this country is full of fraud some of the biggest scammers in the world are right here in america you can't take no chances with them the first thing they tell you beware of fraudsters beware of of scammers if you get a piece of mail and coming from social services or it's a, it's a medical um paper you get or anything when you look at it in bold letters they tell you we will never call you to ask you if you have a personal id number they say we will never ask you for this number even your telephone <laughs> you call t-mobile you hear the recording <laughs> you hear the recording come up if it's your light bill if it's your water bill <laughs> this country is full of fraud you can't trust nobody but guys when i heard that it was a jamaican woman i said i have to come up here and let you guys know how a jamaican for listen I, I i i think maybe i can understand a little bit because he gave, he got a house for the son but the ho the son was part of his ministry and the son took the mother because he had confidence in this man and the man took 90,000 US dollar eh? $90,000 US dollar so I'm saying with $90,000 US dollar how she couldn't get her house on her own but anyway that's how the story goes when you see this man you have to wonder in today's day what kind of pastor this man i'm not saying we are in we are in the midst of prosperity gospel now for the younger pastors who are coming up who are establishing church they are on this mission of prosperity gospel give it to me i deserve it God want me to have it. I need to wear the bling clothes, drive the bling vehicle. Two million dollar house this man was living in of rose rice. Wife decked out and everything. I go and put his his um his Instagram angle up here. One point three million followers. And this man of a criminal history. He's very, very popular. Everybody know about him. If you know about him, talk to me in the comment section. Right? And he has so many followers. Me. Me. Following somebody know what I I don't I don't care what nobody wants to people repent and this and that and whatever me now follow behind no pastor we have no criminal history with me know about you understand me sit on my yard and read my bible and praise my god none of them not defraud me people believe in a pastors too much and it's been coming out how many times them let us down doing different different things them are criminal they have murder murder record them are adulterers i wouldn't so then call them give them wife bun have picnic out a road fornicators mm? have them wife and asleep with prostitute and all of them things they and people still forgive them and make them come back and come and preach to them. Some of them have wife and picnic when you when you find out them are part of the rainbow community. No, sir. Mm -mm. Same to the woman ninety ninety thousand dollars. But again, son. As a matter of fact, they said um he's he's he has a business because he has said 
and I don't hear anybody come out to deny that he's in real estate and some place in New York. He as a as an African man, a black American, he has the biggest real estate company. So he knows what he's doing, but he has defrauded a lot of people because one of the cases also was uh, 250,000 US dollars that he defrauded another person. People are saying, for you to have done so many criminal acts against innocent people, nine years is not enough for you. And he might be able to come out earlier than the nine years. People are saying you should get 25 to 30 years because you went in there already. And you still came back to be doing the same thing. So you didn't get enough time in there. So now you, he's crying. But what about his wife and his kids? What he's going to do to his family? Oh, brother, you spend five years in there already. Why you come out and go back to be doing the same thing that you can end up now getting nine years? You're lucky you only get nine years. You should get more than that. Guys. Okay. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. <laughs> There's a lot more to this to this story. Saga drama. <laughs> I might revisit it another time, but for right now, that's it. You can go and find the story for yourself. But please watch this video to the end. Watch all the ads. I need to make some money now. <laughs> I need to make some money. If it's even next month, I need to get a paycheck from YouTube. I'm putting a lot into these videos. <laughs> and I don't draw a paycheck yet. So listen, guys. <laughs> It's because I'm lazy. I don't put up enough videos. I know that. But um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Alright. Bye-bye.